All right, we are here with attorney Mike Weiss with, a, with an update on, on the court case. Uh, so, so where are we at right now? What, where, what are we gonna, what, what's our next move here? Well, we've set the matter for trial and that is currently pending in October. Um, we've had some discussion with the district attorney's office. They are uh, concerned about whether or not Senator Pan should be included on the witness list for our case. We have had uh, Senator Pan personally served um, one of the legislative assistants from his office had called and asked if we were willing to accommodate his legislative schedule, which is a matter of professionalism I agreed to do. Um, so we currently have trials set now in late October, and uh, we're actually early October, excuse me, and we're good to go. Right on. Yeah. And so do you think, do you think they're going to try to get Pan off the stand? Do you think they're going to, is it going to be easy to get him up there or no? I think it's going to be a fight. One of the fights in the case is clearly going to be whether or not we can get Mr. Pan into the witness chair to testify under oath. The district attorney has essentially um, let me know that they don't think he's relevant to the case. I've told them that we do think he is clearly relevant to the case um, in light of the fact of his uh, perspective on the, on the vaccination issues and his bias on those issues as well as the fact that he actually grabbed you and, and was physical with you, which is the undercurrent to the case itself. So we think he's very relevant. Right. And, and that will be one of the fights when we get to the trial court. And, and who will make that decision? Where will that decision be made whether he'll actually take the stand? What, what will happen is both sides will brief the issue. Uh, the district attorney, I anticipate, will make some sort of an objection to his testimony as being irrelevant. We will file our own responsive brief and the judge, the trial judge, will have to make that decision in the trial department. Now, if the trial judge decides against us having him on the stand, can we continue, is there any way to fight for it beyond that or is that the, the end of it? We certainly have the ability technically to pursue a writ um, uh, mid-trial if we want. I think it's going to be considered kind of a trial judge's discretionary ruling, so I don't know that we'd have much teeth to take the matter up to the Court of Appeal, right. but based on how the briefing comes out, based on the ruling of the court, we would address that issue at that time, you and I together as client and attorney. Okay. And, and so, so why are we taking this to trial? Why are we going all the way? Well, we want to go to trial because it's, it's a public issue that's important to you. Uh, you've been very clear with me that you um, want this to be a, a public venue. Um, that you feel like you've been misrepresented by your senator on an issue that's important to you and um, you feel like you didn't do anything wrong when you're meeting with a senator as a constituent and some of those uh, interactions are recorded. And there's a history there where you're concerned about um, the accuracy of, of the way things are reported and described after they occur and so you have a good faith reason for wanting to record some of those interactions. Right. So we're going to trial because it's important to you. And will people be able to attend this trial if people want to come and see what happens? Absolutely. We encourage the public to come to all jury trials. The constitutional issues that arise in these kinds of cases are very important, whether the case is a misdemeanor or a lifetime felony. Um, they're always open to the public by law, unless there's a closed uh, proceeding for a specific purpose, but otherwise they're open, and we encourage people to come and attend. Right on. And so if we get him on the stand, he will, will, be, he will be testifying on the stand. Correct. Um, but it's, it's my understanding if I chose to, to go pursue a civil suit, I might be able to get a deposition from Senator Pan. Is that correct? Part of a discovery process for a civil case would include depositions as well as what they call interrogatories, which are formal questions. Um, one of the challenges you might have in a civil case would be, I'm sure, a very aggressive effort from whoever would support Senator Pan to try to make a motion for summary judgment. But if you got through that initial threshold and the court found there was a good faith basis in the case, the underlying case itself, you would certainly at some point engage in discovery and that could include a deposition, which would be testimony under oath. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the, 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 broad, the spectrum of, of questions that you can ask at a deposition is much broader than they are in a criminal jury trial because uh, the scope of questions in that regard deal with could that discovery process or those questions lead to discoverable evidence, which is a different threshold than what we're dealing with in a jury trial. Right on. Yeah. And, and how likely do you think it is that we're actually going to be going to trial at, at that October date, or is it possible to be pushed back? I expect it might be pushed back a little bit because right. I'm going to be stepping into a four defendant murder trial right at the very beginning of that month. Right. Um, that could take me four weeks. It could take me six weeks. Yeah. 
And unfortunately, I have a couple of other in-custody clients who um, want to get their cases to jury trial. And I've been in several jury trials this year. Um, and that's had a bit of a domino effect on several of my clients, including yourself. Um, and folks who are in custody have higher priority in the criminal system than the folks who are out of custody. Right. So you are blessed to be out of custody while this case is pending, which is appropriate. Yeah. Um, but because of that, you get a little bit lower priority on the scale of who goes to court and who goes to trial first. Right. So I anticipate your case will probably get bumped maybe back a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I guess that's it. I guess uh, anything else th uh, to, to share with anybody or is that kind of covering it? I think that's most of it. Um, we were talking a little bit about settlement in the case. Settlement hasn't gone very far. Um, again, because y you've been very clear, it's your desire that you want the public to be aware of these issues, that um, these are issues that are important to you. And uh, realistically, there's probably not much of uh, a risk for you to proceed to jury trial in this case. And, and so with your blessing, we went ahead and set up a trial and we're ready to fight. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Well, thank you so much. And, and maybe we'll do another update uh, before or after the trial. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Sounds right. good.